scientists have revealed that there is an entire ocean covering a nearby land in our own solar system, no less. The location, one of Saturn's moons, Enceladus, a moon that NASA's Cassini spacecraft has been studying for years. On its surface, it's covered in fresh, clean ice, but underneath lies an ocean. When the Cassini orbiter first flew by the tiny moon, it found plumes of water vapor spraying out of the cracks in the South Pole. Since 2005, several more flybys of Enceladus have revealed organic molecules and salts in the vapor plumes that hint at hydrothermal activity beneath what must be a sizable reservoir of water. But scientists have had a hard time determining just how much water is under the ice. Careful measurements of the moon's gravitational field had mixed results. Some science suggested just a lens-shaped sea under the South Pole. Others argued for a moon-spanning ocean, but with Enceladus only about as wide as southern Manitoba, it was hard to explain how such a small moon could create enough heat internally for the water to not just freeze over. So what new clues gave them the confidence? A slight wobble in its orbit around Saturn. The icy moon is not perfectly spherical, and that means it goes slightly faster or slower during different portions of its orbit. That changes up the speed, meaning the moons end up subtly rocking back and forth. The team plugged their measurements of that wobble into different models for how Enceladus might be arranged on the inside to create that wobble. It turns out a global ocean around 26 to 31 kilometers in depth could create that special movement. As for what generates all that internal heat, even with an extreme icy surface, well, researchers say rather than having a solid stone center like Earth, Enceladus may have a core of boulders and ice. The gravitational pull of Saturn would cause this sort of rubble pile to bump and grind around, generating heat. This tidal heating would be enough to prevent the ocean below from freezing solid. Pretty incredible science to solve a mystery 1.3 billion kilometers away. So what's next for Cassini and the water moon? Cassini is scheduled to make a close flyby again on October 28th, a deep dive through the moon's active water vapor spray passing just 50 kilometers above the moon's surface. Perhaps then we will see what other mysteries Enceladus holds under her ice. And now, your Science Mart. If you've got a science question on your mind, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.